Hi everybody, it's Tom from the Fice Fit Squad. We're gonna do our home workout today, so I hope you're ready to go. We're gonna start off on a nice little warm up, just to get the blood flowing around the body and get our muscles nice and loose. Grab a family member and get them involved. So we're gonna start off with our lower body just by jogging on the spot. Nice and light in the toes, just get your arms moving, just to get some mobility going through your shoulder. This is gonna be our first one in the warm up. We're just gonna go for another five seconds. Nice and light in the toes, head up to keep your posture going. Okay, we're gonna shake the legs out. Very simply, we're gonna move into a squat. So we're gonna go shoulder width stance, heels on the floor, head up, we're pulling those hips down and straight back up. So down and up, okay? I'm just gonna turn side on to show you. Now, if you can't get all the way down, just bring it to a little quarter squat, okay? So if that's a little bit easier for you, just bring it to a quarter squat. Two more, head up. One more, good, shake it out, nice and simple. We're gonna get the upper body movement, so I'm just gonna do some shoulder shrugs, just get my shoulders up towards my ears, and I'm gonna roll them back, just nice and loose. Then we're gonna bring it in a bit more movement to the upper body. We're gonna roll our arms forward, just to get some blood flowing through our arms, to get our chest, our shoulders, and our back moving. Another five seconds, keep your head up, just to get some movement on that upper body. Brilliant guys, well done in your warm up. So we're nice and loose and our body's ready to go into this workout. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna work for six minutes and we're gonna do six exercises. 30 seconds worth of work and then 30 seconds of a break so you rest and recover before you get into the next exercise. We're gonna get straight into it. So this first exercise is called a side bear crawl. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go into our squat position, hands out in front, head up, and I'm gonna crawl laterally across and back. We're gonna work for 30 seconds. Our time's gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. We've got this. So head up in that bear crawl position and I'm going to the side and back across. Over and back. It feels like you're on an escalator. We need to make sure that our knees don't hit the floor and we keep our head up so we have a nice straight spine, okay? So keeping that head up as we go across. Step, step, step back across. So I'm just using the space in my mat. If you have extra space, make it a bit longer. Last couple, and time. So brilliant work. That's really good for your chest, shoulders, and back, really working our core as well. Just in a simple movement going across. For our second movement, we're gonna go back up on our feet, and we're gonna do some high knees or marching knees, just to get our heart rate up nice and high again. So we still have another 10 seconds. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Recover, that's what we want you to do before we move on. So high knees, we're gonna go in three, two, one. I'm gonna start with marching, just to show an easier version. Get our arms moving, so our upper body is working. Head and chest is up as we march. Now I'm gonna make that a little bit higher. I'm gonna go high knees. Now this is really gonna get us working. Pumping those knees up to your hip height. Nearly there, we've got 10 seconds to go. Keep the arms pumping. Can you go faster than me? Can you get your knees higher? Push yourselves now. Come on, push, push. Five seconds. Keep going. And time. Whew. So shake that one out. That will really challenge you and make you get a little bit out of breath. So make sure you have your water close by so you can stay hydrated throughout all of the exercises. So we're gonna take a little bit more easier now and we're gonna be working on our lower half now. We're gonna do some lunges. We're gonna alternate them to work both legs. So starting position, feet shoulder width apart, head up. We're stepping back, bending that knee. Stepping back, bending the opposite knee. Three, two, one, here's the 30 seconds. Whew. Big step back, head and chest up. Bend that back knee, chest up, change the leg. Make sure we're getting those reps done on both legs. You'll feel this now. You're gonna feel this in your glutes your quads and your hamstrings. It's gonna burn. We have 10 seconds though. Don't stop on me. You have this. Keep it going. These are doing great. Bend that back knee. Nice and low. Don't let it hit the floor. And time. Whew. Getting a sweat on now. We're working. I'm gonna grab my water. So make sure you're staying hydrated throughout. So, catch your breath. We're moving in to our fourth exercise. We're gonna do some more boxing and we're gonna add hooks this time. So what we're gonna do is hands out in front and we're gonna hook and hook, 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 okay? So I'm gonna go left foot forward, hands up in front of the front. 30 seconds to go. Hook, 
hook. Imagine you're punching something in front of you, okay? Now, also imagine you have a wooden spoon in your hand and you're stirring the pot. So we're working your upper body muscles, okay? I'm just gonna turn side on. Keep punching, using your strength in your upper body. Just give it what you can. 15 seconds, guys. Keep moving, keep the head up, and keep rotating those hips into it as we pivot off our front and back foot. Hands up, it's tough. One time, good work. Shake those arms out, give yourself a shrug, give yourself a pat on the back because you're doing awesome, okay? So just shake it out, loosen it all out. Next exercise, we're gonna be working our core muscles. Take your breaks throughout. So we're on 15 seconds before we move into our next movement. Stay with me, I know you've got this. So we're Spider-Man. We're gonna go into our hands, high plank position, and I'm bringing my knee to the outside of my elbow, okay? So we're gonna go in three, two, one. Catch that breath and let's go. So knees to the outside. Whew. Big wide knee to the outside, keeping your head up. Hips stay nice and straight. I don't wanna see you dropping your hips or your chest to the floor, okay? So outside, outside. Outside, nice and wide with that elbow. If there's too much pressure on your wrists, we can go on to your forearms and do that Spider-Man. Couple more, last couple, and time. Awesome, so that's really working the outside of your core muscles there. We're gonna stick on our stomach muscles, okay? This is our last one. I know it's challenging, but I know you've got this. So, this one's called a sit-up crunch. Very simple, sit-up position. We're gonna go flat onto our back, okay? Back's nice and straight, head's nice and straight. My feet are coming up, ankles and on my knees, knees and on my hips. Hands come up, and I'm gonna do a little sit up. Core work, hands extended. Three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds on the clock. Squeeze and exhale as you reach up towards the sky. If it gets too difficult, drop your heels down and we can still do that crunch, arms extended, keep them tight. Breathe as you do your sit-up. It is tough, I am out of breath. We use our rock in it though, I know. So heels up and we're gonna go. Last 10 seconds, push. Feel those stomach muscles tighten. Two, one, and time. Woo, I am sweating now. I actually need some more water to recover. So. Once you stay hydrated, you'll get through all those exercises. Hey everybody, welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed your break. So we're gonna go same again. We're gonna work for six minutes, six exercises, 30 seconds worth of work on the exercises, and then you get 30 seconds break and recovery. Let's do this. So we're gonna move into our first exercise. This is called a lateral squat jump. So we're gonna be squatting and jumping to the opposite side and jumping back, okay? So we're gonna get ready to start. We're gonna start the timer for 30 seconds in three, Two, one, let's go. Keep that head up. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart as you jump across side to side. If you can't get down as low, just give me a little quarter squat and jump side to side. If the jump is too much, just give me a squat and a step side to side. Squat, step side to side. We're going for another 15 seconds, okay? Keeping the head and chest up. Only starting off. It's gonna be a tough one today, okay? Last five seconds. Keep the hips nice and low, and jump. Okay, shake the legs out before we move on to our second exercise. 
I can already feel the heart rate up, so make sure you've got your water or a towel just to wipe your sweat. So, very simple exercise, we're gonna go number two. Cardio exercise to get our heart rate nice and simple. I'm gonna go side on for this. All we're gonna do is do some high knees. If that's gonna to be too difficult, we're gonna do a march on the spot, okay? Catch your breath, we're going in five seconds, okay? Shake everything out, let's have a bit of fun with it. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. High knees on the spot, keeping my shoulders back, my head up, nice high knees. We're working our core here as well, as getting our heart rate up, so making sure knees coming up nice and high. If that's too difficult, you're gonna give me a march on the spot, so we can lower that intensity at any point. So we're gonna go for another 10 seconds, okay? Keep pumping those legs, nice and high. This is gonna get a little sweat on. Three, two, one, and good job, okay. Whew, sweating on, I like it. Okay, that was exercise number two. Now we're moving into our third one. This is called a reverse bear crawl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at one end of the mat, and this time we're only gonna be going reverse in our bear crawl. We're gonna be pushing off the mat. Stand up, back to the start, and I'm gonna be doing reverse bear crawls, okay? Back, okay, so here we go. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. Head up, keeping that posture nice and straight, and you're reversing backwards. Stand up is your recovery. Step it back out across the floor, and we're gonna be reversing back. This is an excellent one for your shoulders, your chest, and your back. We need to make sure that our knees don't hit the floor. We're gonna go one more time, walking forward into that reverse bear crawl. Feeling it already, guys. Last five seconds, I'll get one more done, okay? Push yourself. And time. You might feel a bit of tightness in your chest, shoulders, and back with that one. Make sure you shake it out, your wrists and arms. A couple of shrugs just to loosen it all out, okay? So we're gonna be moving onto our legs now. Whew. I can feel it sweating. I'm sure you guys are at home as well. You guys are doing awesome though. So next exercise is gonna be working our legs. We're gonna be doing some lunges. So very simple. We need to focus on keeping our head up and we're stepping back, bending that knee, okay? So here we go. Three, two, one, 30 seconds on the clock. Keep that smile on your face. Let's keep going. I know it's tough. Head and chest is up, keeping our shoulders back. I don't want them coming forward, okay? Take your time with them. Big step back, getting some hip movement and knee movement, great for mobilizing your lower body, okay? You feel those legs warm up now. Last five seconds. Big step, head and chest up. Two and one. Now I need a drink of water, okay? Really good one for your lower body there. So make sure you hydrate throughout all of these workouts. So, we're gonna be moving onto our upper body exercise now. This time, this one's called a shoulder tap. So we're gonna go into our plank position, easy version, on our knees, and you're touching your opposite shoulder. If we'd like to make it a little bit more difficult, we can come up onto our feet. So we're gonna go in three, two, one. Just gonna show the easy version, touching your opposite shoulder, side to side, keeping your head up. So I have a nice straight spine there, okay? I don't want those hips to go high or drop too far forward, so shoulder taps. And if that's too easy, guys, very simple. All we're gonna do is go up onto our toes, keeping that head up, touching your opposite shoulder. Really good for your core and upper body muscles here. Last couple with me, three, two, one. Good job, these are doing awesome, okay? So. That was our fifth exercise. We're gonna move on to our sixth one now. We're gonna focus on our core muscles for this one. So this one is called the flutter kicks. You're gonna sit down on the mat. We're keeping our head up. Legs are straight on the floor. And all we're gonna do nice and simply is point those toes and make a little scissor flutter kick motion. You're gonna be focusing on your lower core here, all those ab muscles that make us nice and strong. We're gonna go three, two, one, nice and slow. Try and keep the legs straight. I can already feel my core turn on. If your back is at you, go onto those forearms. Still doing that movement. Keep the head up, 15 seconds. Woo, I'm shaking, it's working. And I'm sweating, nearly there. 10 seconds, don't stop. I'm sure you can hear me heavy breathing. Woo, core is on and time. Well, am I glad to hear that timer, guys? 
So for your 30 seconds recovery, make sure you shake it out. Stand up, kick your feet out, roll out your ankles. You're out to doing an overall body workout. A lot of work and great effort by anyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Nice job. Well done in your workout. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cool our body down, our muscles which have been working hard. So we're gonna start off with our lower half. Very simple, we're just gonna put our hands on our hips and we're gonna do some hula hoops. So make sure you have a shoulder width stance, keep your head up and you're just gonna loosen out your hips and good for your glutes as well. Change direction and go a couple the other side just to loosen out that lower body. From here, we're gonna hinge forward. So staying with the shoulder width stance, keeping my head up, my arms are out in front. I'm gonna hinge forward just to stretch out the back of my legs. Try and reach down towards those toes, okay? Hinging forward, you're gonna feel the stretch on the back of the legs. Couple more, keep the head up, and one more to finish off. Brilliant. We're gonna go down to the ground now just to go on our hamstrings and our calf muscles. So sitting on the floor, you're gonna extend one leg out, opposite's gonna be on the inside. What we're gonna do is reach down towards that toe, and see if we can pull down towards our knee, okay? This is gonna stretch out your hamstrings and your calf muscles that we've been working so hard. After that, we're gonna change it over to the opposite side, leg on the inside, reach down towards that toe, stretch down for a few seconds, just to get those legs nice and loose. And our last one, we're gonna jump back up on our feet, okay? This time, I'm gonna interlock my fingers. I'm gonna pull away from the body, keeping my head up, and I'm rounding those back muscles forward. All of the hard work we've done on our upper body, just rounding those muscles forward. Make sure everything's nice and tight as you push forward. And shake it all out, loosen it all out, okay? Let all that tension out. Brilliant work, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that. Nice little cool down just to finish off, okay? Don't forget, we're gonna see you same time tomorrow at 10 a.m., so stay tuned. Also, don't forget to stay hydrated with that water and snack on a Freddy's Fife banana. Enjoy. So kids, that's it for today. Well done on joining in and staying fit and healthy. Get your parents to tag us on Facebook or Instagram with your videos and photos of you joining in and we'll pick 10 winners every day to get this Fife water bottle or inflatable banana. And don't forget to drink plenty of water after your workout and snack on a Freddy Fife banana. See you next time.